My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So we are eating from our freezer and pantry for dinner tonight. I had about two pounds of wings in my freezer that I needed to use, so I decided to use this seasoned coating mix that I had in my pantry, had it for a while. It is the Williams brand and you just coat your wings and you can either bake or fry these wings. I did decide to bake them in the oven. Here they are. I did line my pan with foil. I sprayed the pan really well. But they all ended up sticking to the bottom of the pan. But Howard and I did taste the wings. <clears throat> Excuse me. They do have a really good flavor. They are definitely spicy. I don't know if it would be kid friendly because it is pretty spicy. Um, I'm serving some canned green beans and also some shells and cheddar cheese. This is what the box looks like. This is by from a company called Public Goods. I did do a video on their company. I guess it's been a couple of months ago. So I'll link that in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I wanted to show you what we are having for dinner tonight. I'm still working on using up stuff from our freezer and pantry. So in my freezer, I had this Trader Joe's barbecue teriyaki chicken. I am going to cook this in the skillet. There are microwave directions too, but I prefer it in the skillet. And then I'm going to be trying out this fried rice mix. Now I picked up this mix from H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. Um, I did find this mix also on Amazon. It's a lot more expensive. I think it's nine. 99 on Amazon but you get three little packets in the uh, little package here and this is what the seasoning package looks like and so it calls for one cup of raw rice which is three cups of cooked rice so here is my cooked rice whenever I make fried rice I always cook it early in the morning or the night before put it in the fridge so that it will firm up so that's what you have here. It also calls for an egg. It doesn't call for green onions, but I'm going to be adding green onions to mine. Let me flip this over on the back so you can see the instructions. So here are the instructions right here. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm trying this for the first time. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. And then on the side, I'm going to be serving some broccolini. I've already washed it and chopped it up. And then for dessert, another thing that I had in my freezer was this apple pie. It's like a little single serving apple pie, but it actually serves too. I got this for Howard a while back ago and I just wanna clear it out of my freezer. So we're gonna be having this for dessert. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our dinner. The fried rice is really good. I know it doesn't look like much. It definitely doesn't look like the package, but it has a really good flavor. Howard said the same thing. It's very garlicky, really light in flavor, but it's flavorful. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's really good. And then here is the chicken, which only took a few minutes in the skillet, and then our broccolini. The pie is done too. I just took out a small portion so you could see what it looks like on the inside. So the crust is very good, nice and flaky. Apples are delicious too, a little bit tart, but um, probably gonna have some whipped cream with mine. I don't think we have any ice cream. Howard likes ice cream. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box. I'm gonna make a few changes to it, um, but I just have this twin pack of portobello mushrooms and then I'm just going to clean the mushrooms up. I'm gonna scrape out the gills of the mushroom with this spoon and then you know wipe down the mushrooms really well. Um, I've got a prepared pan here. In this bowl I have um, um, olive oil, garlic, and then I also have some of this seasoning. So I'm going to drizzle that oil mixture over my um, portobello mushrooms. And then I have some 
cheese that will go on top of the portobello mushrooms too. It's a mixture of pizza cheese and Parmesan cheese. And I think I may add some buttery um, breadcrumbs to these mushrooms as well. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I think it will be really good. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's our dinner. Here are the mushrooms. And um, with the mushrooms, I just um, had some leftover canned green beans in the fridge. So I heated those up in the microwave. I have some pastorona, pastorona, pasta roni fettuccine alfredo. And then I'm serving it with my favorite croissants from Trader Joe's. So here is the Trader Joe's box. And then here is the pastoroni box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making a semi homemade version of wonton soup. So in my freezer, I had um, this bag of chicken cilantro mini, wa mini wontons from Trader Joe's. And then in my pantry, I had this package of egg flour soup, Kikkoman, I really like it a lot. You can find it a lot of places. I think I may have gotten this from Walmart, maybe a long time ago. And let me just flip it over on the back and show you. Um, I'm gonna follow the directions. I'm not going to add the egg, but I'm gonna add the two and a half cups of water. In order to stretch it a little bit, I'm gonna add another cup and a half or so of chicken broth. So I'm doing that a little bit different. And then I have this baby bok choy. It was in my fridge, I've already cleaned it up. If you've never worked with baby bok choy, it's very similar to leeks in that you really need to pull it apart and get it clean. When I was pulling apart the leaves, I found this piece of paper right in the middle of one of my little bok choy. So anyway, um, and then also I'm gonna be using some green onions and then I'm also going to use some sesame oil. So let's get started. Okay, so in my pot, I've already added in my package of soup mix and then I added the water for the soup mix. I added some extra water and so now all I'm doing is just adding in some bouillon since I added in that extra water and I'm just gonna let this come to a boil and then I will add in the veggies. So the soup is just about to come to a boil and now I'm gonna add in my veggies. Now, the stuff that you see floating on the top of the soup is actually dried mushrooms from the soup package. So I'm just adding in my chopped bok choy and my green onions. Okay, so here's the soup quick and easy, very tasty. I did add a probably about a tablespoon of sesame oil once the dumplings were cooked. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So my parents are in town visiting and my mom and I decided to try a couple of new recipes. Uh, we each picked a recipe that we wanted to try. So this is a recipe that my mom made, which is called, um, I think it's mom's chicken pie. And I'll make sure to leave the recipes in the description box, but this is mom's um, chicken pie. And then this is the one that I wanted to try and it is a Chinese spaghetti. And of course, I will make sure to leave the recipe for that one as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.